Okay, Google. Crush. Crush, kill, destroy. In this video, I'm going to be building a can crusher, and it's not going to be just any old type of can crusher. It's going to be a smart can crusher. So that means that it's going to hook up to the internet, and I'm going to be able to use my Google Assistant to crush cans just by saying, hey Google, crush that can. So I'm really excited about this project. I got a lot to do. I need to build the actual physical piece that's going to crush the cans, and then I also need to build the electronics. So let's head over to the workbench and get started. So now that I've got the actual can crusher built, I need to talk about the electronics. I'm not going to go into great details on how this works because I went in a roundabout way of programming this, so I'm going to give you the quick and easy 30 second version. Up here in this electronics enclosure, I've got an Arduino and an ESP3286 Wi-Fi module. Now that Wi-Fi module is constantly monitoring the Making Stuff web page looking for a certain command. When it sees that command, it tells the Arduino that it saw the command to crush a can. The Arduino then energizes this solenoid, which is plumbed into the same airline that I used for my CNC plasma cutter, which activates the pneumatic cylinder, which crushes the can. So that's the quick version of how all of this works. If you're interested in wanting to know more, hit that like button, because if this video gets a thousand or more likes, I will make a second video that goes into more detail on how you can do this yourself. So enough talking, let's go crush some cans. Okay, Google, crush. Crush, kill, destroy. <laughs> yeah. He hates these cans! Hey Google, crush. Crush, kill, destroy. So 
after playing around with this thing for a little bit, I quickly realized that I do not want to be sticking my hands in here to push the can out the back. I did leave a hole here in the back so that the crushed can could exit, but a full can will not fit through that hole. And also the two by fours were to make this kind of be a little bit away from the wall so there's room for the can to fall out. So I decided maybe I could put a solenoid on here that would push the can out, but then I realized I've got the exhaust air from this solenoid, so I just routed it down here and drilled a hole, put a fitting on there, connected that airline to it. So now, when this cylinder goes back up, that exhaust air should push the can out the back. Okay, Google, crush. Crush, kill, destroy. All right, so it looks like that's gonna work great. I've even got a trash can down there to catch the can. So now, once I put it in the crusher, I don't have to touch it again, and I certainly don't have to put my fingers or my hand in there to get the crushed can out. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me that big thumbs up. And remember, if you wanna see more on how all of this works, it's gonna take a thousand likes before I'm gonna make that next video. So get to smashing that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching. Hey Google, did you like the video? I liked it. You gained a subscriber.